Welcome back, owner operators. It's Jeff Zarley from Let's Truck. Today we're going to jump back into the scan gauge and go through the trip menu. A very unique menu on the scan gauge which helps you compare information, which you can reset at your choice and compare different trips. We'll start in the lower left hand corner. We're going to press the trip button from the main menu. Then we'll go ahead and hit the button that says trips again. And I suggest doing this while you're stopped. We're going to concentrate in this menu on the lower left reading. Right now it says current. That is reading you what menu you are in for trips. Current simply resets whenever you shut the key off. So whenever it says current in the lower left hand corner, we're just not going to pay attention to that for now. It's not going to do much use for us in this menu as owner operators. So always use this lower left button to scroll through the trip menu. We'll hit it one time. It will show trip A. We'll hit it again. It will show trip B. Those are your two trips that you can reset whenever you want. Hit it again. It shows tank. This is going to be your total averages for the whole tank, which basically means since the last time you put a fuel up into scan gauge and press save at the end, it resets itself. So your whole tank will go through and record. For now, we'll concentrate on trips, so just keep pressing the lower left button. Um, the total, that is your total ECM miles on the ECM that is put on your truck. Okay, lower left button again. We're back at current. We're going to ignore that. We're going to start at trip A. Okay, what you can do, the lower or the center right button, reset, you can reset this trip whenever you want. So say it's Monday morning. And I want to know how much profit or how many gallons I burned just today. So we will reset this first thing in the morning. As you see, that went back to zero up top. Drive through the day. Go back into the trip A menu. These numbers up top will change. So I'm going to go through what they mean. Um, currently up top, it shows zero gallons. That's how many gallons you've burned on that trip. It's going to, all these are going to show zero because we just reset them down here. To scroll through, we're going to use the top two buttons. You got a button right here and a button right here up top. So we'll scroll through. As we scroll, notice the bottom trip A stayed the same. That means we are still in trip A. MPG is going to be your average mile per gallon for that trip. The dollar sign is going to be your total profit for that trip after fuel your average speed or average mile per hour, maximum speed, how many hours your engine was running on that trip, your maximum RPM reached on that whole trip, your maximum miles that you drove on that trip, your maximum water temperature, good to watch if you pulled a big hard hill that day and you want to see how hot your engine got, that's a good way to tell the maximum gallons you burned. We are back at the beginning. Pretty straightforward. Um, it's not that difficult to go through. If we go down to trip B, it's the same exact thing. We'll scroll through the top. It shows your profit, average speed. Those are obviously a little off because I'm running this on a bench unit. How many hours the engine's been on. Maximum speed, total miles, maximum water temperature, how many gallons we burned back at our average mile per gallon. Um, people reset trips to compare a toll road versus two lanes, to compare one load of freight to another. Um, and the best part about it is the profit, which you see up top here, you can read that from the main screen also. Quickly, we'll jump back to the main menu, which is the lower right button. We'll go ahead and press gauge. And then we'll scroll over to dollar sign PA, which is this one here, and dollar sign PB we'll put underneath it so it's nice and easy to see. And as you're going down the road, you can compare those two trips. PB could be yesterday, PA could be today. Reset whenever you want. You could say, wow, well, today I'm obviously making nothing. Yesterday was a negative number which sometimes does happen if you're on a really low paying load and um, you're burning a lot of fuel in that load, that happens. So it's neat to watch them side by side going down the road. Uh, the trips are a great, great function 
to use all the time. Comparing weather, comparing trailers, the opportunities are endless. So please email me, jeffs at letstruck.com with further questions about trips or the trip menu. And uh, we will also be providing further videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great, safe, and profitable week.